Hey, what's going on guys? Today I'm gonna to be doing a review of these Phantom Boxing El Cocoy Boxing Gloves. So stay tuned. Okay guys, so today we're gonna to be doing a close-up weigh-in and review on these Phantom Boxing El Cocoy sparring gloves in this metallic red silver and green color scheme this uses a microfiber exterior which is a uh, synthetic a leather material this glove is only a 14 ounce glove this is the only current size that they have um, because he's all metallic it's actually a pretty sharp looking glove um, a little definitely more on the flashier side uh, but still pretty cool looking you can see the double stitching inside there. The split palm with the green and the silver. The laces. There is the ventilated holes on the thumb. Um, you do have medium sized grip bar that has some good firmness to it. You can see the microfiber material, how it's rolled into the sides. 14 ounce tag. Uh, you do have um, kind of a microfiber soft foam liner. Doesn't bunch up, which is really nice. The Phantom Boxing logo on the back. It's kind of a gold color, which is printed on the back of the glove. And you do have the triple cuff design as well. Uh, the back of the cuff, I'd say, is about three quarters of an inch of padding. The inside of the wrist, you do have about a half inch of padding uh, to give you that wrist support. So on both sides, your, your wrist is sandwiched in between those two layers of padding. Um, some black piping around the cuff um, as well. Nice pre-curved fist. And you can see the uh, landing surface in the knuckle is actually really nice. It kind of rounds out and becomes flat, so it's not super rounded. You get a really nice uh, sensation of making contact with the bag. So let's go ahead and go ahead and put these on the scale. So we much these weigh for being 14 ounces. And the right glove first. So they're a little underweight. They're almost two ounces below their advertised weight. So they definitely need to be beefed up a little bit. Um, they're exactly the same weight as each other. So that's a good thing as far as being symmetrical to each other. They're the same exact weight. They're just about two ounces underweight. So they just need to add a little bit more material. Maybe they could have put a little bit more material inside the middle of the glove to kind of give it a little bit more balance, but uh, almost two ounces underweight. So that's something that they could definitely improve. So let's go ahead and do the review. Hey, what's up guys? Carlo here. And today I'm going to be doing a review of these Phantom Boxing El Cocoy Sparring Gloves. Got mine in the all metallic red, green, and silver color scheme. Um, it's a 14 ounce only glove and only comes in a lace-up closure uh, with three different colors, including this one. I believe they also make a green and a red as well as a silver and a gold. So hopefully sometime in the future they come out with other sizes as well as color schemes that aren't metallic. Uh, Phantom Boxing is a fairly new company based out of the UK. So I was really interested to try these gloves on. They definitely didn't disappoint. Now, the first thing looking at this glove, it has a medium sized profile, not super small and not huge, has a little bit of a shorter cuff. And when I actually put these gloves on and started using them, they almost remind me exactly of the rival RS1 2.0s I recently did a review on, both in the fact that they both use synthetic uh, leather, which they call microfiber, as well as a hand compartment and the thumb kind of reminds me a little bit of the RS1. Um, so I was really interested to see how they would perform. But looking at the glove, you see it here has the all metallic red with the Phantom logo in gold on the back of the glove. You do have a black attached thumb, a split thumb with the green and the silver. And then rotating to the palm side, you do have a larger grip bar, ventilated holes, as well as ventilated holes on the thumb for breathability, double stitching throughout. It does use a multi-layer foam components being latex as well as EVA. So you're getting a good amount of shock absorption, but as well as feedback with this glove when you're using it. Um, about a half inch of padding on the palm side. You can see it goes all the way up to about the grip bar on the outside of the palm, and then right underneath the thumb, which is pretty common for most gloves. Black piping, green piping on the thumb. And the stitching color is white on these. Right here on the back of the glove, you do have about an inch of padding on the triple cuff. Obviously, this is a, a pretty traditional triple cuff design for the lace-ups. 
And on the inside, they use this microfiber sponge uh, cloth type liner that doesn't bunch up. It does a really good job of uh, keeping your hands pretty dry. 14 ounce tag right here. One drawback I found, like I showed you guys earlier in the video, is these gloves are about almost two ounces underweight. So hopefully sometime in the future, they can get that balanced out and add a little bit more weight to the gloves so that they're a little bit more true to the weight that they're advertising. Typically, you wouldn't really wanna see, even with a training glove, the gloves would be more than half an ounce off. Now, granted, I know there's a lot of gloves like Mexican style gloves, like Casanova's and Reyes that are a lot heavier uh, than what they advertise, and that's to their own detriment as well. So I think, in a way, that these gloves definitely should be a little heavier to be a little bit more true to weight. At least 13 and a half ounces if you're advertising them as 14 ounce gloves. Quality-wise of these gloves are actually really nice. One thing I notice about metallics on synthetics is that they last longer. And because it's not genuine leather, they don't really have to use the same process of uh, bonding the metallic uh, to the actual leather, which is, you know, which is a real skin, comes from a cow. So with the synthetics, it's actually developed with the metallic into it. And I've been using these for a couple weeks now here at home in my, my, my home gym, in my garage. And you can see over the knuckle area, typically on a genuine leather glove that has metallic, it starts to wear out. But these actually have held up really nicely, surprisingly, uh, with using these on the heavy bag. And again, I think that has to do with the fact that it's, it's not real leather. Uh, but quality-wise, these are actually really good. Now, the microfiber that they use on this is just like Rivals. It has a much more thicker feel to it. It's not like the entry level synthetics where it feels a little thinner and tackier to the feel, where it feels like if you hit it on the back a couple times, it'll start to rip. These definitely have a lot more durability built into them. So you can see there, the stitching actually looks really good where the, the index finger meets with the thumb. And all the areas where the seams are at actually looks really clean. You don't really see any stitching coming apart. The double stitching on the palm looks really good. The, the material on the inside is bonded properly to the exterior microfiber. The actual padding on the wrist feels nice and symmetrical and actually feels really good. I mean, you feel like you're getting a good amount of support along your wrist here. You can see that. So they didn't go, they didn't cheap out when it came to the wrist support. The hinge point looks really good right there with the stitching. Right there on the triple cuff looks really clean. The piping actually looks really clean. Nice long laces. The liner actually looks really good as well. And one thing you notice about the liner, they do a real clean job as well. I mean, sometimes you'll start seeing companies that mass produce these gloves, they'll start to kind of skimp out on the liner. Because that's an area you don't really see. But you can actually see they do a really good job with the stitching on the inside liner. These gloves, I believe, are made in Pakistan, if I'm not mistaken. But they do a really nice job of the actual liner and keeping everything clean inside there. So uh, definitely a breath of fresh air when it comes to these kind of gloves. Um, another thing is balance, right? So you're looking at this glove. And you can see they do a really nice job of distributing the weight throughout the entire glove. It's not too top heavy, it's not bottom heavy. It's nice and streamlined. So that's what I really like about these gloves. Now putting these gloves on for the comfort, this is the very first thing I noticed was how deep my hands got on these gloves, just like the RS1s. Is my finger, this is probably one of the better finger compartments I've felt on the glove um, because of how deep you can really dig your fingers in and really make a fist. And it has a really natural pre-curved fist to it. Now the drawback is there's a little bit of a break-in period. So it has a, an, an initial, it was actually a lot more tighter than this. It was, um, so for me using these on the heavy bag, you can see kind of opened, you know, I can loosen up, loosen them up and it kind of broke them in, but it took some time for me to get to this stage where I can open my hand that amount. But it, at first there's a little bit of initial stiffness there, but the finger compartment is one of the best I've felt. You have a nice neoprene pad over the stitching. It's nice and deep. And because of that, you don't have to put little or any really effort into making a fist. So when you're pun throwing your punches, your, your hands in the natural position to where you're landing on those two front knuckles right here with little to no effort. And I felt that was probably the best feature of this glove is how well you can make a fist with these. Uh, the thumb feels good as well. It doesn't feel awkward. I know from the view of it, it looks kind of like it swings out a little bit more but it's actually kind of deceptive. It actually feels pretty comfortable. Uh, the piping on the thumb doesn't pinch down with my hand wraps on. It feels really good um, and doesn't really jam and, and feels pretty comfortable. So I definitely like that. But again, the best feature of this glove is going to be how, how well you can make a fist and how deep it is. It feels like your, your fingertips are almost really directly rolled underneath to make a great fist with that. Wrist support feels really good. One thing I, no I noticed about these gloves too is more rounded out. It's not boxed boxed out or flat. Sometimes you get a, a, a cuff 
that is too flat and wide. And so you'll have a ton of space on each side of your forearms. Um, and I like these, it's actually pretty compact. Once I have my hand wraps on, it feels really good and, and nicely locked in. Now the protection and performance of these gloves are great as well. The EVA with the latex um, feels really good. You kind of get a good balance of, of uh, feedback and protection. I would say this, these are a little bit more on the protective side um, and definitely a lot more denser. So you can see how dense these gloves are. So I think if you're going to use these primarily for sparring, I would break these in a little bit on the bag, maybe do a couple days of, of training on the heavy bag to kind of break the foam in before you use these for sparring because of how, how dense this foam is. But from a pr protective standpoint, I think they do a fantastic job of really absorbing the shock of, of hitting a heavy bag with these. And um, I feel like these are, are really nice, especially for throwing those really nice digging hooks into the body. I felt like my hand position was perfect for that. And I got a really good bang in the heavy bag using these bag, uh, using these gloves, excuse me. So um, I'm kind of interested to see how these perform um, when I use these for sparring when everyone gets back from the whole coronavirus uh, pandemic. So we'll see how that performs. Now, cost-wise, these gloves are about 64 uh, British pounds, uh, which equates to about mm, 79 US dollars, 79, 80 dollars uh, US plus shipping, um, which is actually a really good deal. Um, I feel that these gloves are basically the RS1s from the cuff on up. Now, the RS1s use that that uh, that that um, lace track system that you can put your laces in, and it has a little bit of a different rolled cuff design, more circular. But from here on up, I think they're essentially the same kind of glove um, as the RS1s, both in the material that they use as microfiber as well as the hand compartment shape. Um, but you're getting it essentially for half the cost uh, of the RS1. So that's just something you might want to think about, maybe something you can consider um, if you're looking to get those. The only drawback, again, is only one size, lace up, weight's not on point, and color. So I think if they do release more color schemes, this would definitely be a, a much hotter seller than they currently are now. But 64, 65 British pounds, again, you do the conversion rate to wherever you're located to get the cost of it. For us here in the United States, 80 bucks for a glove like this is actually a pretty good deal considering how comfortable they are and how they perform. So if you guys have any questions or comments, make sure you guys leave them down below. I'll put the link in the description box and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.